Hello, welcome to another video. The purpose of this exercise is to remind you that all of the integration techniques you know are centered around natural logarithms, not around logarithms written in other bases. And as you can see this problem, it is not written as a natural log. So you cannot just say, I'm going to find a way to integrate it. Because this happens when you do something over and over again, you start subconsciously assuming that what you have is what you always have, but this is different. So we have to rewrite this problem in another way that allows us to actually perform integration. So if you knew it already, um, this is just fun. If you didn't know it, well, you're learning it. And if you learned it before and you've forgotten, this is a refresher. Let's get into the video. The first thing you're gonna do is rewrite the problem because we cannot integrate logarithms in other bases. We can only integrate when it's written in the natural log form. So we're gonna say using the a change of basis formula, we can say that the logarithm of base two of x squared, actually, we can write it this way, write it in the form we like, which is x squared, natural log of the actual argument over the natural log of the base. This makes our life a lot easier. So which means that the problem we have, so therefore, we can say that the integral of the logarithm of x squared to base square root of two dx is the same thing as the integral of the natural log of x squared over the natural log of the square root of two dx. Now, how does this make life easier? Well, look, the natural log of two is a, or the square root of two is a number, right? It's just a number. So we can pull out this to the back so that the problem becomes one over the natural log of square root of two times the integral of ln of x squared dx. And this is all we need to deal with now. Okay, let's keep going. If you already know how to integrate this, well, that's it. Just go ahead, integrate. If you want to see how I integrate it, let's keep going together. And every time you get a polynomial as the argument of a natural log function, you want to treat it as a product, okay? You want to treat this as a product and then use integration by parts. See what I'm saying? I'm going to say that this is equal to this line, I'm assuming you're following me, so I'm tracing it up here, is gonna be equal to one over the natural log of the square root of two times the integral of the natural log of x squared multiplied by one dx. You see, if you multiply this by one, it doesn't change anything, but it provides me the opportunity to see this as a product. And then I'm gonna use the product rule of integration, which we call integration by parts. Uh, let's get the formula first. I would have used the DI table, which I like using, but I just wanna show you the, the purpose of the DI table. So at this point, I'm gonna say that this, I'm gonna treat it as if I am integrating u times dv. I'm integrating u times dv. So I'm treating this as dv, okay? And the answer I'm gonna get is gonna be u times v minus the integral of v times du. Okay, let's work that out. We have assigned this to be our u, so we say let u be equal to ln of x squared. Now, why did I choose u to be ln of x squared? Always use the, it's called the Liate, Liate ranking. Whenever you wanna choose u, look at the exercise you have or the argument of your, inter your integrand. If it contains 
logarithm, that must be your U. If it's not there, you go over and check if there is an inverse trig function, or you go if there's an algebraic expression like a polynomial, or you go and check if there's a trig expression, or you go, and then the final, final, and the least um, important is exponential functions, because those ones are easy to integrate or to um, differentiate. Okay, um, just, just a quick overview there, quick review also. So u is ln of x squared, so if we differentiate both sides, we're going to get du will be equal to, what's the derivative of, because we need to get this, and we also have to get um, the other one. So we have dv also, our dv will be 1 dx, going to be 1 dx. Some people just write dx, but I like to write the 1, and then we can find our v by integrating both sides. So at this point, if I take du, what does du give me? The derivative of the argument divided by the argument. So it's going to be something like this, 2x over, what's the argument? x squared. If we simplify this, you notice we're going to end up with 2 over x. So du is 2 over x dx. Now, if we, want, if we integrate both of these to get our v, we're going to end up with, if we integrate this, we get v, integrate this, we're going to get just x. So, let's go back and use our formula. You know what? I'm going to come back and write the final answer. I'm going to ignore this for now and just work on this part. Therefore, the integral of the natural log of x squared dx is the same thing as, we're going to say uv, which is u times v, which is x ln of x squared minus the integral of v du. What is v? v is x. What is du? 2 over x dx. Okay, so let's multiply these two together. x times du, which is 2 over x dx. You notice that these two cancel out, and what you have left is just 2 dx. So, which means we have x ln of x squared minus, if we integrate this, what do we get? We get just 2x. At this point, you can say plus c, but at this point, if I'm doing integration by parts, I always leave the plus c at the very end. Otherwise, you have too many c's. <laughs> okay, so therefore, now I've gotten this, I just need to bring this back, and then that's my answer. So I'm going to say that 1 over the natural log of the square root of 2 integral of ln of x squared dx is equal to 1 over ln of the square root of 2 multiplied by x ln x squared minus 2x. Some people will factor out the x, but because today is a good day, this is my answer. I am not factoring anything, and I would always say, do not stop learning. For those who stop learning, have stopped living. Bye-bye.